Mike, Milan 2021, we're on the hard end stand now, Kellenberger 10. Now, this is a brand new model. This is the Premier yep. in Europe. But tell me a little bit about this cylindrical grinder. Okay, well, basically the Kellenberger 10 is the uh, latest product. It's the first product in the range, but it's an incredibly strong product. Uh, super high quality and precision, really rigid. I mean, you've got the table here and you look at the tailstock and the work head, the wheel head, see the amount of weight and uh, the rigidity that it's got within it. It's a great machine, really. I mean, the customers love it. Now, when I see stickers like this down by my left, made in Switzerland, now you're going to be talking about accuracy. Of course, yeah. I mean, part of the accuracy comes from rigidity because obviously during the process, you don't want things pushing off. So, I mean, on the work head, you've got point, less than 0.4 as standard, uh, less than 0.2 as an option in terms of roundness. Uh, in terms of overall repeatability, it's, you know, it's, it's within the micron range. We've got sub-micron scales as standard. It's a high, high end, high class machine. So really what you're trying to do with this machine, it gives you options to get into maybe companies that haven't been at sort of at the level of grinding, but with a good price as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's built in volume. So they, they push it through the factory on a flow line. So certain elements are added at each stage to try and move it through quickly to keep the deliveries good, but also to maintain a good price point because it is Swiss made. So with all the work that they've done, they've managed to get to cost out but keep all of the quality aspects. Looking at the, uh, the, the way that you've actually built this machine, is it quite universal for, 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 for most industries? Yeah, um, it's got a B-axis uh, so you can rotate between the wheels. Here we have a threading wheel for example on the left hand side. On the right hand side we have a wheel which will do faces and diameters or, or both at the same time, shoulder and face. And then at the, behind us we've got the internal spindle so you've always got that flexibility to be able to do internal, external and facing. And when you look at the UK and Irish market that you represent, do, do you see any main sectors that you could sell this machine into? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it fits in many places because it's universal and it's high end quality. Aerospace is perfect, jobbing shops, also tool room work, mold and die, all those areas. I mean, Formula One even, I mean, it's, it's, it's got that accuracy. It's got the ease with this control, which we'll talk about later. 19 inch front touchscreen with Kellenberger's latest software levels, uh, intuitive programming, graphical. So it's really easy for the operators to be up and running in a day and, and get great parts out. So potentially it's, it's taking the, the skill out of the, the job, obviously the, the actual, to a certain extent, the yeah, actual I software. Mean, it's, it's making it easier. The, the, the levels behind it take, help take some of the skill out because you can actually have material profiles. So you save those in the machine and then if you're doing a job with a particular profile, even if it's a totally different size and shape, the cutting speeds, feeds, dressing data is all then transported into that for you and adapted to suit the component size that you're dealing with. So it's really quick to get up and running and get a good, great result. And uh, obviously with the, the hard inch group, obviously you're great innovators of, of, of grinding solutions. Is, it, is there anything that this machine can actually do that your competitors can't? I think the price quality ratio is beyond reach. As I say, the rigidity that this offers as well as the precision and then the ease of programming. So you get quick programming, great results every time with the data libraries that it's got within it. So, you know, it's, it really does offer an awful lot way beyond the fact it's just a universal grinder to the people making parts and trying to make money out of it. So really at the end of the day, what you're saying is you're building a very high valued uh, product, but very cost effective. So it's, yeah, it's really cost effective. It's, it's done through standardizing, limiting the options, but making in volume and, and making them quickly all the same, all to the great same quality. And finally, for those engineers that are maybe looking for a, a grinding solution, uh, if, they, if they want to look at this machine or have trials on this type of machines, what can you actually offer them, Mike? Yeah, we can arrange the trials. I mean, we, we, we have customers going over now. It started again with the travel. So, you know, in a couple of weeks, I'm back over in Switzerland with customers from the UK doing some acceptance. We were there. I was there a few weeks ago uh, doing an acceptance on a job. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's up and running easily. We also have some customers which some of which we can go to, some of which we can't, obviously, depending on the type of work they're doing. Uh, so there's, there's a, a good ratio mix. And based on this uh, Kennenberger 10, would you say it's a bit of a game changer because of the quality, but also versus the yeah, price? I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great machine. People that know Kellenberger will know the Vista. Uh, Jones and Shipman users will know things like the uh, Ultramat, Ultra Grind. 
this is the product that replaces all of those products within the marketplace and is the next generation. So they've taken the best bits out of those products, enhanced them, put them together and this is the result.